So this is the second day. We actually woke up. Uh, I didn't really record too much, but we went to Summit Auto Racing to get some more transmission fluid. We were kind of still low from last night. We didn't have enough. So we went, picked up some from that Summit Auto Racing store. I already showed you guys the footage. Then we went to Pick and Pull to go check out a few E90s, see what they had over there. Some of the ones in Dallas, they actually had a manual E90 over there, which is really surprising. I've never seen a manual E90 at a Pick and Pull ever in my life. I've been to many pick and pulls, seen many E90s there, but never a manual one. So that was kind of interesting. We got a few parts like an M Sport. There was an M Sport, uh, like a brake pad, not brake pad, footrest. I, I guess I could show you guys. It was like an M, M package, M Sport uh, brake. What is it? Footrest? Foot, foot pedal, footrest, something. Uh, we got that. We got the M Sport uh, parking boot, parking brake boot. Um, what else did we get there? That was pretty much it. But. So I already showed you guys the footage of that. Right now we're just gonna go ahead and top off the transmission, uh, the transmission fluid. Uh, where are the bottles? All right guys, so we got the transmission fluid in here and I bought three bottles just so I could have a lot extra. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see how much it actually takes. And then I went ahead and bought some waterless wash as well. So it's chemical guys, um, Eco Smart, RU Waterless Wash and Wax. I heard this one was pretty good, so I went ahead and got it. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put more of the transmission fluid into the transmission. So I should probably update you with what happened. So we went ahead and filled up the transmission all the way to what we think was enough. Um, drove it, it seemed to be shifting. It was better, but it was still shifting kind of hard. So we're not sure exactly what's happening. We know for sure though, that it can make it back to California. It's about a 24 hour drive. So guys, it says 1,760 miles, one day, one hour. So we are in Dallas, Texas, and we need to go to Sacramento, California. So. Everything should be fine with the car. We should be able to make it back. Oh God. Oh God, I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty scared. But I'm gonna go ahead and detail the car. Uh, the interior is kind of like, it smells kind of weird. Nothing too bad, but it has like a lot of dog hair and everything. And I just want to clean it up before we leave. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. And uh, that will probably be the end of the video. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and start cleaning the car.
guys, so I've pretty much cleaned up the car now. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. Um, so yeah, I pretty much wiped down everything. I vacuumed up the carpets, cleaned the carpets with carpet cleaner, uh, wiped down the dash. So it's a lot cleaner in here. It wasn't too dirty already to start with, but now it's even better. So I just found a uh, fun holder, like underneath this cup holder. Anyways guys, so um, I actually bought something um, that goes on like the back of your phone. It's like a magnet that holds your phone. So my aux cord actually isn't long enough to reach up to the center console. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here. Actually, is this the center console? It won't reach up to the dash. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here. Essentially, I'm just gonna set it down so that, as you guys can see, I have the magnet on already. I'll just set it just like that. And so it should sit in place and it, the aux cord is down here so it will reach perfectly and that way it doesn't slide all around and it just sits in a good spot <laughs> and I also can use my cup holders as well so that really helps um, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put that on real quick and then show you guys perfect guys so I went ahead and Stuck this on and it sticks pretty good surprisingly, but yeah, so I have the magnet right here set it down And then plug in the aux cord because unfortunately this doesn't have Bluetooth even though it has the nav I don't know why but oh well We got to work with what we got, you know, so let's see aux cord All right, so we got the aux cord. Let me just plug it in down here And it's just gonna chill like that Looks pretty good to me. Solid. What do you think? I think it's gonna make it 700 miles. Let's hope so. <laughs> oh man. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of like us getting this car ready for this trip. And now the next video is us driving 1700 miles. Wish us luck on that. We're, we're taking two N54s guys. Two N54. Oh my God. <sighs> some of the most unreliable BMW engines, but also some of the most fun at the same time. So, 1,700 miles, they should make it if we don't race anybody. <laughs> so, we just have to be patient on our drive, and we should be able to make it. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for that video, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.